I spent 100 days in Minecraft Elden Ring. Elden Ring is one of the most popular games of 2022. Known for its amazing graphics, amazing characters, I love you Melina, insane combat, and extreme difficulty. Yeah. Yeah. I I get don't ask me what he just said. Cause I don't know either. And I am just so obsessed with this game. But there's one problem. I am afraid to play this game. I have zero experience with Dark Souls. And I don't have 60 bucks to buy this game. So I resorted to Minecraft. So I found this mod called Shadow Ring. It's on CurseForge, made by this YouTuber named Asian Half Squad, which has over a hundred mods to make Minecraft just like Elden Ring. From combat, visuals, boss fights, loot, world generation, and more. One day in Minecraft is 20 minutes real time, and a hundred days in Minecraft is 33 hours real time. And that's the challenge I'm gonna be facing today. My main goal is to slay at least one dragon before the end of the video. If I don't, I'll be maidenless. And from my first attempt, I know it's gonna be difficult. Did he just bite me in half? First day and I rush to get items. I don't know what's in this mod and that terrifies me. I have a different goal each day. My goal today is to get stone tools, get food, and make a house. I start with a wooden pickaxe and shovel so I can dig straight down and get some stone immediately. Okay, I think that's enough. Then I made a stone pickaxe, axe, and a shovel. And then I made a furnace just in case I found any coal. And shoveled some dirt blocks because I know I'm going to have to tower. And luckily spotted some coal nearby. Okay, found coal, nice. I got over 19 blocks of coal. Next I started my search for food. Bro, I can't be running through these trees, bro. I literally can't see anything with these leaves in my face. After exploring for a while, I found a lake and some more mobs. <gasps> more mobs, okay, let's go. Being live for a minute there. Oh shoot, it's already dark. That was fast. We got food, now I'm gonna make a shelter. And that is exactly what I did. Day one is almost over and I don't know what's in this mod, so I need to be quick. Just gonna start with the dark oak house so I can cook my food and have it ready. And my first day goals are complete. I think I'm good. I guess this is where we're camping out. But I still needed a bed and didn't have wool. There was like no sheep over here. Dude. There's literally no mods around. And during my search, I was unaware something was around me. <gasps> I'm going back inside. <laughs> I'm staying in here. I'm gonna cook my food like I was supposed to. That scared the crap out of me. I decided to replace the floor because it reminded me of the ground I was about to die on if I stayed out there. I didn't see it, but it saw me, so I'm terrified. And I don't know what's in this mod, so I need to be extremely careful. But for now, we need to survive the night. Whoa. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Wow. And for the next day, I'm probably gonna put some cool transition. I gotta find a sheep, dude. Day two and I already have new goals. Make a bed and upgrade my house. I added a moat and a new ruin to my house. Also made a basement where I can hide the bodies. And unfortunately never found a sheep. Day three and I found a funny creature. <gasps> a crocodile. Oh my God. I am not gonna die. <gasps> it's coming for me. It's coming for me. That crocodile in the water gave me hydrophobia. I'm really terrified to swim in the water now. Wait, was there something in the water? But there was a sheep nearby so I could make a bed. <gasps> yes. Okay, I have enough. Let's go back. I now have a bed. That is an achievement now. My new goal is to get full iron armor and iron tools. It's iron. <gasps> Finally, I find some iron, dude. Let's go back to the house. Holy crap, I have to pee, dude. There. We made a chest plate first. Your boy looking clean. I went to a cave and thought I heard something and then ignored it for some reason. That was not a good idea. Oh my god, I was not paying attention. Exploring deeper into the caves, I run into some skeletons. Knowing I'm unprepared, I literally almost die. <sighs> no. Oh my god, I cannot die that fast. I literally stayed in this cave for the rest of the day. I couldn't risk dying. It was literally only the third day. But so far, my goals are barely complete. Day four and I finally made it back home. Oh, thank god I made it back. Let's get back in the house before anything else finds me. And for once, I actually got some sleep. Day five through ten, starting to get a hang of things. Found this abandoned house, so I decided to check it out. I hope there's no mobs in here, but um... I'm gonna take this lantern. Looking around, I found a chest in the closet with some terrible loot in it. Cake. I really hope you guys are enjoying the video because I'm putting so much effort into this. Oh my gosh. This is my first time ever doing like a 100 day challenge and I hope it performs well. Then I found some pillagers that were looking at me pretty sus. And one of them shot their brother. Nice, you shot your brother. 
Ugh, bro, it's twisted. So I stole their watermelon. <gasps> watermelon. Then I found arrows, not knowing I had a bow in my inventory after I killed a pillager. Wait, did I get a crossbow? When did I get a crossbow? What? Look at a moat, dude. That's cool. Yeah. Then I finished the water mode around my house. And my sister came in while I was recording. Glory. Then I made glass windows to make my house look better. But I think I might have put that glass block in the wrong place. And I made my attic look cool with a little sky window. That literally looks so cool. But you know what's not cool? These stupid zombies trying to get in my house. They for real thought they could touch me, bruh. If this zombie touches me, you have to watch the entire video. Oh no, he touched me. Ew. The next morning I found out my moat was actually working. A skeleton fell in during the night. The skeleton stuck in my moat. Then I got back to courage to swim with the fishes. And I would do this for a while, not even detecting the threat that was nearby. What the f Oh my god. And there goes our first death. But what I didn't tell you guys is that every time I die, I add an extra day to the challenge. Dang it. So I went back to get my revenge. But this crocodile was stronger than I thought. And unfortunately, I got too close to him. He's rolling to rip me apart. It's kind of working. I'm taking a lot of damage, but he's almost dead. Still in mind mode, and I'm able to spam. And there's no way I could have survived this. Oh my god. And somehow kill this alligator with 0 0.48 HP left. I am not doing that again day 12 and i got lost in the cave looking for iron dude i can't be lost right now dude then i fought the mobs outside because i got bored there we go then i hit the sack because i was tired day 13 and i finally got iron leggings finally oh shoot yes i'm all geared up let's go which means i can make iron tools now then i began my quest to find a companion there has to be at least one wolf I looked for hours with no luck, starting to lose hope, and ended up running into a bridge. Why is there a bridge right there? What was that? What is that? I could have sworn I heard something following me. I might explore whatever that thing. What was that? And I saw something in the corner of my eye that gave me chills. That's a ghost. I'm gonna go. Oh, shoot. Can I... Oh, why can I kill a ghost? Here's your ass. Your dog water. Then I tricked this creeper into blowing up this skeleton I was fighting. Come on, creeper. Oh, shoot. Yes, it worked. I thought that floating ship looked cool, so I towered up to see what's inside. Oh my god, he almost got me. This was what I assumed to be a skeleton ship with some zombies on it. Thinking I could be a captain, I tried to take it over. I also found what I think is similar to a cockpit. Is, it, is this the cockpit? I think they know where I am. Then I ran to three skeletons with gold armor and I didn't want to use epic fight to kill them because there were three of them and they got really close. And I got too scared to fight them all so I blocked out the entrance, ignoring the skeleton that was already in the room with me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, thank god. And then I made like a drum and beat it. If I fall, I'm going to scream. And I continued my quest to find a companion, and sadly again, had no luck. Bro, one wolf, please. Oh my god. That's beautiful. How did I miss that? Then I came across a pillager hideout. Oh shoot, why is there another one now? That's a spider. Another day is added to the challenge. It's 4 a.m. I was gonna go to bed, I'm pissed. Day 15, I got hunted by a skeleton and lost again. You are not going to kill me. Oh my god. One to three days. One to three days in Minecraft Elden Ring now. Day 16, and I redesigned some parts of my house. Mainly with just dirt blocks, but I thought it looked boring, so I made a hallway at the front door. Yeah, that looks pretty good, right? Then I got leaves to decorate my house. Then I put a tree in the corner of my house. Then I did some more decorating, and I thought it looked really cool. This looks really cool so far. I like it. This looks really good. On day 17, I robbed this village's house. Oh, fun. 
Okay, so this is it. Day 18, I explored another abandoned house. And I found a chest with some really good loot in it. I found another abandoned house and decided to set my spawn there. This is gonna be my house for now. Day 19, I found these really cute raccoons. I don't know why they were dancing like this. Why are they doing that? Oh, it's chicken. So I decided to feed them. I hate raccoons, but they're so cute. And nothing crazy happened until I saw this. <gasps> That's a dragon. That's a dragon. You heard it there, folks. This is indeed a fire dragon. That is a dragon. Okay, we got it, Jamal. I was gonna try to shoot it from where I was, but then realized I am bad at aiming. I am not gonna hit that. So I changed my mind. <laughs> Until it started flying towards me. Oh. Oh, shoot, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. I'm dying. Another day is added. And as I went back to explore, the most unexpected thing happened. I even see myself jump. A tameable mob. A wolf. Or as I'd like to say, a companion. Something I've been looking for since day 13. He's right in front of me. You have to be joking. You have to be joking. <gasps> yes! And seeing this dog Follow me. Made me lose every single ounce of stress, anxiety, loneliness. Things I don't feel when I'm actually around dogs. And I somehow got three more of them. You're Douglas. You're Dudley. I'm gonna name you Scrat. I literally felt safe and immune to attacks. Come on. Come on, boys. And I treat these wolves like they're actually my pets. Because unlike in real life, I don't actually have dogs. And as the night came, I regretted not taking them back into the house to keep them safe. Come on, pups. Come on. I just... Oh, shoot. A spider. And when I was attacked, as usual, they protected me. Thank you, guys. I love you guys so much. They saved me. They saved me. Which gave me the thought to do the same. Even in the heat of battle, I felt safe and protected by these pups I literally just met. Get them pups. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so glad I have them now. Ow. Okay, come on pups. Let's go. We got them all. But as we were traveling, I almost burst into tears. <gasps> oh my god. I hate hearing a dog get hurt, bro. Don't hit my dog. Ooh, Scrat's about to die. How do I heal a dog, bro? How do I heal a dog, bro? Oh! After a while, we just kept fighting pillagers and zombies that were just randomly in front of us. Like, we couldn't escape them for some reason. And the worst mob that could have showed up, showed up. Get him, bud. Get him, bud. <gasps> Get him. <laughs> We tried escaping the dragon around the castle, but there's three pillagers there. I went the other way and we were surrounded. No, we need to go. We need to go. And while we were escaping the dragon, a zombie villager tried taking revenge, but not on me. <laughs> Scrat, no! Yeah, I'm gonna censor this part because I actually legit started crying. Um, I don't want you guys to hear that. But after that, I unintentionally breeded both of them. I wasn't trying to do this. What? Did y'all just... I didn't know Dudley was a girl. Okay. And as I explored more with them, my luck sadly began to run out. Mod. Ow! No! Something I did not know is that when you die with wolves, apparently they don't come back to you. Wish I knew that sooner. No! You have to be joking. Literally every bad feeling they took away from me is now bad. As if nothing even happened. That is the worst thing to ever happen. Every minute that goes by, I am on the brink of tears. So upset that I'm gonna go home without my pups. Say 21. I got really tired of walking, so I decided to get a horse. Might just get a horse. Please, please love me, please love me, please. Slapped the saddle on its back and then named it Ultimate. I'm gonna call you 
Ultimate. And he somehow took me to my house. Then I made a place to stay for Ultimate. Okay, let's go Ultimate. And exploring with Ultimate, I found this weird looking building. It looks very suspicious. What is though. this? This area is very off. Then I decided not to go in because I thought I would die. And then we found a village, which was pretty cool and calm. Then I made this stupid mistake trying to get Ultimate into a village house. I think... Are you serious? You have to be joking. You have to shut up. I've literally lost everything, dude. And out of anger, decided to attack this Enderman for no reason. Whoa! Jesus Christ! That Enderman knows Kung Fu, dude. What? I'm going to bed. You guys remember that Enderman from last night? Yeah, he's still mad. Apparently there's a feature in this mod where mobs you attack don't forget you. So when I die and respawn, they will still find me and try to kill me. I don't know if this is normal, but I get really quiet when I'm scared, so I literally did not react at all. I just decided to run straight into the water so he wouldn't get me. Then I redesigned my house to make it look cooler. I put oak logs on every corner and edge and added some oak planks at the top to make the attic bigger. I've got big plans for this. Day 23 and I made some more tweaks and adjustments to the house. I replaced the hallway with cobblestone to make it look cooler. <coughs> Day 24. I made glass walls for the attic so I could see mobs at night. Day 25. Funnier than 24. I'm still in the grind and this house is gonna look insane when I'm finished. Day 26. I added a sand coating over the glass so the design wouldn't be so basic. Day 27. I put up a sign and decided to name my house The Relentless. Come inside if you have to take a wild piss. Day 28. I didn't like the ground structure so I started leveling my base. Day 29. I did some more leveling. Day 30. And I did even more leveling. Day 31. And this is what my house looks like now. Yeah, it looks terrible. Day 32, I'm still making upgrades to my house because I didn't think it looked good. Day 33, I added a huge glass window in the house so I could see the moon at night. Day 34, decided to explore this tower near my house. And I found three zombies with enchanted armor and decided to use epic fight for some reason. Oh my god, I'm not going back down there. Then I fought a skeleton who killed me as I died. Day 35, I fought a group of skeletons like it was nothing, but I think I underestimated them. <gasps> what was that? This zombie is so strong it hit me without even touching me. <gasps> what? Oh my god. This thing almost killed me three times, but luckily it's not that fast, so I was able to escape. But sadly there was something else in my path that didn't want me to escape. And no, it's not this dead dragon, it's what killed it. It's this cyclops that's trying to watch me sleep. Baba boo. <gasps> It's on me, it's on me, it's on me, it's on me. Even though I had a head start, this thing is still really, really fast. It's not gonna stop chasing me, dude. Can I fight it? Not your best decision. <gasps> I need to defeat this Cyclops. Come on. What? Stop it. Run, run. Oh my God, it's so close. Is this still falling? It's right there. <laughs> not gonna stop chasing me until I'm dead. I need something to tower with. The Cyclops turned around for a moment to eat the mobs around it, giving me time to tower up so I could plan my next attack. Day 36. I tried it again, but this time even closer. Quick, 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 quick. Oh my god. Should I try the Iron Golem strat? I got lower to test it out, and it was actually working. Oh my god. The Iron Golem strat's working. Come on. It took so long to kill this Cyclops because every time I hit it, it would back up, which made me too scared to unshift or I'd literally die. Yes. Yes. Oh my god. But shortly after, cross paths with another one. <gasps> Oh god. It was such a stupid idea to run down that hill. It made the Cyclops faster. <sighs> oh my god. It's so much closer than the other one. I tried to tower at that moment, but it was getting extremely close. <gasps> oh god. <sighs> oh my god. Oh, you almost got me, dude. Okay, same strat. <laughs> oh, this is gonna take a long time. I killed your brother. How about that? I killed your stupid brother. Oh! <laughs>
What? What'd you do? That was weird. Don't do that. Come on, big boy. I'm gonna get you down to zero. If I accidentally take off my hands off a of shift, I am literally dead. Get closer. Get closer. Come on. Oh god, a spider. Get down. Get get down. Eat the spider, bruh. Eat that spider, bruh. Come on. There we go. After that, I had a funny encounter with the bear. Oh my god. Oh my god. That bear is mad. Oh god, it's getting faster. Then I found these weird looking gold blocks near my spawn and decided to collect them. And I made full gold armor with them. There we go. You got all golden armor. Then I tried to find my way back home, but sadly had no luck. Oh, no, ignore me. Ignore me. How? I said ignore me. You doofus. Then I found a wolf in the hills. Wow, that was fast. Every second you're not running. I'm only getting closer. I think I'm good with one. I'm gonna name you Ricardo. I named the wolf Ricardo simply because I didn't want to get too attached, knowing it's going to die. I'm still sad about Scratch's death, but that unfortunately distracted me. Oh shoot, that's a spider. I couldn't see it. <gasps> no! What did I expect? And out of nowhere, I just randomly started taking damage. Ow, what? I didn't see a single... Oh. I found the same temple I saw while exploring with Ultimate, but this time I'm actually going to explore it. But I'm going to go to bed first, I'm tired. Day 38, I actually went in and it looked abandoned at huh? first until I found this lever. Is that... Oh. Oh, that's my... What I was trying to say was Medusa. You know, the Greek myth lady who turns people to stone if they have eye contact with her. I kept looking down or straight at the floor so she wouldn't kill me instantly, but as you can tell, that didn't work. Then I made a boat to hopefully find my way back home. I actually don't know where to go, to be honest. <laughs> I'm probably getting farther away from my house. Is that a pirate ship? Dude, that's literally a pirate ship. What? That's so cool. Then I tried to see if I could board the ship. Oh, those are pillagers. Okay, um, I'm gonna go on this island. I haven't been at a desert. What is that? Is that a mosquito? It looks like it's killable. Then I changed my mind when I saw it had a stinger. Then I spent the night at a village nearby. Day 39, I did some more exploring and found another village. Day 40, I found another dragon while I was exploring. Placed my bed behind the hill and went to go fight the dragon. Oh my god. It was literally about to kill me with another fireball, so I tried to jump in the water. Dang it. What? I already reset my spawn. What happened to the bed I just placed? I am not ending this video until I kill a dragon. Day 40 and it literally picked me up and bit me in half. Like it was nothing. And it just kept killing me over and over again until it flew away. I have to go chase down this dragon now. It's in the village now. No matter how many times I die, I will defeat you. Oh my god. Okay, I got all his clutches. No! I'm not stopping until this dragon is dead. Oh shoot. No! It destroyed the bed! Oh my god. Oh my god, please. 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 I got really mad, so I decided to go fight Medusa again. Oh my god, she scared me. Since I've died so many times, I decided not to count the boss battle deaths. Okay, the boss fights don't count, guys. And I went back in for a third round. I can't look at her. Oh my god. You can only get me. How did she? Then she went back downstairs and got stuck, so I took that opportunity to trap her. Oh, I trapped her. <laughs> That's stupid. You're not gonna beat me this time. Oh, I got her, finally. And then I went back to the pirate ship to become a pirate. They do. They do have guns. Let me aboard the ship. And then they tried to ambush me from the water. Oh, shoot. They were about to kill me. I'm not gonna be a pirate today, I guess. 
Day 41. I noticed some blocks were missing from this villager house. And half the village was destroyed. <gasps> it's coming back. What is the dragon? Turns out this was the same dragon. And now I'm angry. Oh god. The dragon was doing so much damage, so I tried to hide and heal up, but I don't think that worked. <gasps> oh my god. Bro, I'm just gonna keep being a punching bag for this stupid dragon. Oh god. Let me get a break. <sighs> I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Or by it, the village can die. Bro, what am I supposed to do? Dude. Bro, are you kidding me? Please don't find me. Please don't find me. Water. Day 42, and I finally escaped the dragon. Oh, I'm so lost, dude. Oh my god! Oh my god! I do not want to see that dragon again. You guys have no idea how happy I was to escape that dragon. But then again, I was questioning things. I kind of wonder, how did the dragon find me? Don't ask questions you don't want the answer to. <gasps> my curiosity is about to get me killed, but I have to be fast. There's water nearby, so I should be good. The only way I would survive this is if I stayed underground. So I'm digging as fast as I can to escape the dragon. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I'm gonna have to keep on doing this. That dragon knew I was underground. I could still hear it above me waiting for me to come out. Why did it screech? <sighs> That dragon is still mad at me, dude. Are you serious? Okay, so I'm gonna be real with you guys. This dragon, yeah, that one. It doesn't leave, unlike my dad. <laughs> so I made the only logical decision. And that somehow worked. When I rejoined the world, it wasn't there anymore. Where is it? Also, look, I used my webcam in this one. Anyway, I found this bug on a roof and for some reason started taking more damage than usual. <gasps> no! Something I didn't notice was this dragon icon with a timer under it pop up after I hit the bug, which is odd knowing that there's nothing else around me. Or so I thought. Oh. I don't know. Why am I taking... Why was I taking damage? Day 43. I found a village on another island nearby. Day 44. I found what I thought was a stranded mermaid. Oh my god! Oh my god. Why is it trying to kill me? Oh my god. Day 45. I literally found a whale in the water. A whale! That's actually so cool. Then I stumbled upon an ice dragon. <gasps> That's a dragon! No, I was not supposed to get in the water. The dragon literally tried to suffocate me under the water. Oh my god. Dude, I'm stuck. I'm frozen. Don't fly, don't fly, don't fly, please. Don't fly. Don't! I tried hiding underwater because I thought the ice dragon couldn't swim, and I ironically got surprised when it actually got me. <gasps> what? Oh god, I'm gonna drown. And as I tried to escape, it grabbed me and bit me in half. No! On day 46, I made a new shield and explored the caves. <gasps> no! And I finally found my way back home. Oh, I'm so happy about that. Oh, that makes me smile, man. Next time I go exploring, I'm not resetting my spawn. I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm no longer going to reset my spawn. I'm just going to go try to find that dragon again, I guess. But for now, I think I'm good. More designs to the house. And I continue to upgrade my house. Day 47, I added extra rooms to the house. Day 48, I made an extra base just in case mine was destroyed. Day 49, I continue working on the second base to upgrade the security. And day 50, I added windows into the second base. Day 51, I flatten out the area around the second base. And on day 52, I fought a mutant <laughs> creeper. Oh my god, what did it just do? This thing does not like me. <gasps> what? Mid fight, it got stuck in a hole and spawned more creepers. <gasps> it spawned babies? I tried attacking it while it was stuck in the hole, but I ended up falling in as well. Shoot, this is not where I want to- There were so many creepers spawning around me, I literally couldn't defend myself. Jesus. Whoa, that is a lot of explosions. Oh my god. Oh my 
god. The creeper's explosion knocked me into the wire and I almost died because there was already two more in there. Now! <laughs> I even tried towering over it, and it still somehow outsmarted me. <gasps> yes, it can! <gasps> no! Dang it! I even tried Epic Fight! It literally does more damage! Wow! Where is it? Oh my god. So apparently when I respawned, it just dipped. Just like my dad. Day 53, I watched two skeletons fight. Nice, they're fighting each other. And I continued working on my house. Day 54, I made an aquarium so I could have some fish in my house. I'm gonna name this fish Jams. Day 55, I got four buckets of lava so I could make another portal. Day 56, I collected more lava to work on another portal. Now where am I supposed to find more lava, dude? I actually pick it up this time. And while exploring through the caves, this chest started attacking me. Oh, shoot. Dang it. Day 57, I added three more blocks to the nether portal. Okay, now I'm gonna need some more lava. There we go. There we go. <gasps> Day 58, I got lost in the woods and found an ice dragon's nest. It had three chests with really good loot in it. Actually, I think we might take that. And I think I overstayed my visit. Okay, let's keep... <gasps> It's coming. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Oh god, it sees me. It's over there, it's over there. Oh god, please. Now! Then I ran to three ghosts, which I actually killed really easily. And this is where my minecraft literally started bugging. Did I not pick it up? Why is the lava still there? There we go. I was gonna jump and then I realized, oh. There's no water. Wait, didn't I just- I could have sworn I had another bucket of lava. Day 59, I went back to recollect the lava. I swear I collected that lava already. Then I got ambushed in the cave by three zombies. No! Oh my god. Dang it. And as I went to go give more food, the absolute weirdest thing happened. Why is this pig floating? What is, wh oh, what is happening? Why is that creeper just sitting there? That last hit literally wasn't me. What's wrong with all the mobs? And that wasn't the only bug. Okay, I can, wait. What? What's this? I'd even turn. What? 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 No, bro, that's weird. I don't know what's going on, but I feel like everything is delayed or replaced. I can't even take damage. What? There was nothing right there. What? How did I get launched? Feels like I'm in a time loop or something. What? I keep getting rewinded like a tape. Bro, what is happening? What? So I left and rejoined to see if that would fix the bug. Now let's wait a few seconds. And then I fought a bear to test it out. And it seems to be working. Then I added two more blocks to my nether portal. There we go. On day 60, I mowed down every single tree in front of me because I thought it was satisfying. It's just so satisfying to do, dude. Then I died to a mutant skeleton. On day 61, I found more lava to use for my nether portal. Then I died to a random creeper explosion. On day 62, a creeper somehow got in my house. <gasps> what? How did a creeper get in my house? Then I added three more obsidians to my nether portal. One more now. But I needed to get more food first because I just ran out. And then I went to the village I found on day 22, and someone was waiting there for me. Wait. <gasps> ultimate! There is no way I just found ultimate again, dude. Then I took ultimate home. Hold <laughs> on, ultimate, I'm putting the door back. No, ultimate, no. 
No. Oh, I'm so glad I found Ultimate again. On day 63, I went to go check on Ultimate to find out that I already had lava. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh, I had lava here the entire time. And I finally got to finish my nether portal. <gasps> yes, it worked. And now all I need is flint and steel. Yes, I finally made the flint and steel. Oh my god, that portal looks so weird. After that, I grabbed my food from the furnace and hopped in the nether portal. What? <gasps> oh my god. How did I spawn on a fortress? I started strip mining and this bug just started sucking me up. What do you mean by that? I mean sucking my face off. That's what I meant. Oh, get off of me. Get off of me. So scared something is gonna jump scare me, bro. Exploring through the nether, I kept getting lost so many times to the point where I literally went in a circle back to the nether fortress where I spawned. Wait, am I just going back where I was? This was a mistake. Oh god. <gasps> what is that? Oh my god. <laughs> you have to be joking. Why was that? Blade is so big, dude. I ended up just exploring the nether for a couple minutes, strip mining, and fighting blaze the entire time. But I didn't find anything interesting except for the mutant blaze. So I decided to go back. Oh, shoot. Okay, 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 I'll go. Okay, I hated the nether, bro. On day 64, I made a new room with the netherrack I just got. Day 65, I worked on more upgrades on my house. I promise I will finish this house before the end of the video. And as I was collecting sand to finish the grass, Roof, the mutant zombie had came back. Oh, come on. And I literally just went to bed. I didn't even care. Day 66, I finished the glass roof of my attic. Then I tried to say hi to Dan, but I ended up getting stuck in the tank. On day 67, I did some more flattening to make the ground look smooth. Then I finished designing my second base with oak leaves. I even added grass to give it a forest type feel. On day 68, I made a third base as a hideout in case I almost died. And of course, the mutant creeper would come back. <laughs> oh my god. On day 69, I lured the creeper away from my house so I didn't have to fight it. Then I continued working on my house like an absolute chat. And on day 70, I found watermelon in this cave while exploring. I even got Ultimate some new armor. There you go, Ultimate. Ah, you look sharp. Day 71 and I'm boxing a zombie. And I won, by the way. I don't know why I just boxed a zombie. Day 72, decided to destroy this tower near my house because it looked better than mine. Then my sister came in and I had to explain to her how Minecraft time works. That's not a timer, Glory, it's a clock. Oh, so you've been recording for 10 minutes. No, that's the in-game clock, Glory. Because it's 10 o'clock in Minecraft. Then I replaced the floor with polished anesthetic. And on day 73, the most unexpected thing happened. I'm literally just sailing through the river on my boat when all of a sudden. What? Where did you? That's not. No. I literally couldn't believe my eyes. So I tried to see if he would follow me. That's no. No. That's not Douglas. I think that is Douglas. Follow me. If this is Douglas. This is Douglas. Are you serious? Okay, let's go. I'm taking you back home. Come on. Come on, Douglas. Come on. Hey, Ultimate, I brought you a friend. I brought you a friend. I'm not wondering. Douglas, what happened to Dudley and the baby? A group of people just crossed their eyes out and married them and found me to get their diamond eyes. Oh. Day 73, I mowed down every single tree in my path. Then I hopped into a call with my friend Ivan so he could see my progress. Okay, here's my pets so far. Um, here's Ultimate and Douglas. Aww, 
Ew, why does he look so creepy? Shut up! Is that your house? I have three bases. I've only been to the second one. Really? I haven't even showed you this one. I was making a sexual innuendo joke. I didn't get that one at all. Point the joke, because I'm confused. I'm clueless, bro. After 10,000 more cringy jokes, I gave Ivan a tour of my main house. This is the hallway. This is the main room. Yeah, we've got a chest. Another chest, crafting table, furnace chest, my armor stand with all my iron armor. This is my room. This is where Ultimate and Douglas sleep. Bro, Douglas is about to die and I cannot wait for that story arc. You have no idea what was in the video, bro. This is the red room. Yes, I did put a conjuring reference in this. I'm gonna show you the attic. This is what the attic looks like. This used to be Ultimate's room. He didn't like it in here. I can just hear Douglas whimpering in the background. Crap. <laughs> Here's the rest of the attic. This is where I hide extraterrestrials and bodies. Now let's go to the basement. Here is the aquarium. Um, also, when I opened this door, I accidentally drowned in here. I couldn't get out. This used to be my room, but I, I moved out of here because it looked cringe. There's another pathway to the aquarium. And this is also where I keep the nether portal. Then I fought three skeletons and this one broke my shield. And another enderman. <gasps> Day 74. I went through the nether and instantly died. Fight, 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 fight. No, I clicked off Minecraft on accident. On day 75, I ran into a mutant enderman. Do you see that, Ivan? That enderman in the background? Yes. Who gave him a spank? He's twerking back there. Well, That's not a normal enderman. All right, mate. See you later, mate. <gasps> what just happened? <laughs> oh my god. Come back, Come back. I can't run. Come back. And on day 76, I found a pillager hideout. Ignore me, please. Hey, Whoa. There is yeah, so kill. many pillagers. There was over 15 pillagers all Thank shooting me at the same time. I could barely run, eat, or escape because I've never been there before. There are so many pillagers. I couldn't even eat to heal fast enough to survive the arrow and ended up getting stuck in the leaves and cornered by my own demise. No. No. Dude. Hours later, I found this spinning hippogriff. You spin my head right around, right around. What is that? Oh wait, I've seen this thing before. A77, Ivan wouldn't stop singing. On day 77, I literally found myself in the middle of nowhere. Day 78, I decided to walk in a straight line to see where it took me. Took me back to my house. Literally don't know where I'm going at all. Wait. Day 79, I did some more flattening. Day 80, do I really need to say it again? You can clearly see what I'm doing. I'm not finna waste my breath trying to say it again on day 81. Day 82, I made a fence so that Douglas and Ultimate could see outside. Day 83, I made a shed in front of my house just in case I got mobbed. Day 84, I destroyed this pillager hideout because it looked better than my house. Day 85, I found another stupid Cyclops. Day 86, I found another weird looking creature. What is that thing? I want to fight it. I'm literally going to die regardless. Day 87, I went exploring again to see if I could find a dragon. Day 88, I found the sea serpent. What is that? That's not good. Oh, it's chasing me. Get out of the Is it gone? He's right there. <laughs> wow. Day 89, I went back to the nether to get some more nether blocks. And on day 90, I used those blocks to make a house. And I thought the crimson doors looked cool, so I decided to replace my main doors. Mm, that looks sick. That's actually cool. I like that. And as I go through these last few days, I only have three words in mind. Slay the dragon and if i don't within these 10 days i will be maidenless so i set off to explore 
to find the dragon. Day 91, I found the village and decided to camp there so I could cook my food. Day 92, I boated through the swamp while avoiding crocodiles. Day 93, a siren pulled me out of my boat and tried to kill me, but failed. Day 94, I found the platypus and named it Perry. Day 95, I found a cyclops in a pixie <gasps> I'm not finna get robbed while I'm fighting a cyclops. Day 96, I found another village, but it has a little secret. What is this? What is? Oh, it's over there. I started building a box around me so that she couldn't pull me any farther. Not even noticing the cyclops in close proximity. <gasps> oh my god. I legit started attacking one of them and they all started fighting over me. They were literally throwing me up and down and that was causing me to take so much damage. What is happening? Dude, they're just- Day 97, I stumbled upon a group of elephants. Elephants? I found elephants, dude. Day 98, this worm started following me in the sand. <sighs> Whoa, it's after me now, what? Ah, oh, what is that? Is this thing still following me? Yes, it is. Bro, why is it following me? What is that? What is that? Day 99, I got jumped by a mutant zombie and some more zombies. Oh shoot. What? Oh. Oh my god. What was I supposed to do at that moment, man? Okay, I need to hurry up. It is the last day of when I kept out in the ring. Of course, of course. Stop, stop, stop. Die, die, get out of my- No! Oh, I gotta go, I gotta go. It's gonna be dark before I actually make it over there. Oh, come on, come on. One dragon, please. One dragon, please. One dragon, please. Oh God, I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time. I don't have enough time. No, it's already night. What am I supposed to do? I'm, how am I going to slay it if I can't find it? Man. <sighs> it's literally about to be morning. I don't even have near enough time. Well, it looks like the challenge is over. I did not defeat the dragon like I was supposed to. So that means I am maidenless. But I did spend 100 days in Minecraft Elden Ring. Also, remember when I said every time I die, I had an extra day? Stop it. Don't kill me. I'm dying. Are you serious? Dude, they're just... No! No. Yeah, it's not gonna be in this video. I'm gonna be streaming it on my channel and then putting the links in the description on Unlisted when I'm done streaming the video. So I really hope you guys tune into those. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe and look at your depression. Peace.